Hey everyone, Sawmill Charlie. Well, it is February the 3rd. It's a Monday. I've got a window of opportunity today. It's going to be between 45 and 50 degrees. I believe right now it's around 47. Bees are not really flying too much. Uh, I checked the observation hive here where we're at and they are definitely needing some more sugar cakes and pollen patties. I went ahead and I have a global patty here with rocket fuel in it. I made up some sugar cakes here uh, about uh, two days ago. They're nice and hard. I experimented with sugar cakes with some uh, pollen powder in it, but it just doesn't seem to harden up. So I'm going to scoop that off on top of the frames with that uh, pie uh, scoop there. And I'm going to go ahead and get into these hives and feed them all. Uh, I've checked the nukes. Uh, a lot of them, you don't see the bees. There's plenty of food up on top. I don't really want to get into them right now. It's just not going to be uh, warm enough. And it's supposed to get cold again by the middle of the week and possibly do a little bit more snow. And there was a couple of them that were up on top. Uh, they did uh, have a pollen patty to eat. So uh, I replenished that along with uh, one uh, sugar cake on a one or two of the nukes. So let's go ahead and get into this hive here. Take the lid off. We've got the insulation. Here we've got the observation uh, lid. I'm gonna go ahead and bring you up a little closer so you can see what I'm doing and uh, see how the bees are doing at this time. All right, here we're at the uh, observation hive. Uh, you can see the bees in here. Um, we do have part of a pollen patty left. There's some sugar cake right there. A little bit of sugar cake over here and some on this left side. I'm going to go ahead and open this hive up. And like I say, there's a sugar cake. A little bit left of that, some remnants. Here's some of uh, the other sugar cake that has some of the pollen patty mixed into it. Um, go ahead and open this up a little bit. They have taken quite a bit of the um, pollen patty. I'm going to go ahead and give them another one. Smoke them down a little bit so I can get the cakes on. I don't want to smash any bees. I'm going to go ahead and put the pollen patty right there. Kind of bridge it. I always like to bridge it. That way they can kind of get under it. There's another sugar cake. Go ahead and put that there. Here's a the other sugar that I have put the pollen in. It's going to be uh, several weeks before I get back in here. I'm going to go ahead and Maybe put one more sugar cake on. So I'll be back in a couple seconds. All right, I went ahead and put a little bit more of the brown sugar that has the uh, pollen sub in it. I got a pollen patty there, of course, a white sugar brick. I think I'm just going to continue using white sugar bricks. They're easier to make. I make them in a pan. So I'm going to go ahead and close this hive back up. Get the bees back in. Put the 
observation cover on you can see that there is a piece of eighth inch hardware the cloth which is actually some of that um, I'll call it plastic type hardware cloth that you have screening in your doors I put a piece of uh, duct tape here close the hole up and they will probably propolize that screening over time I go ahead and put my little wooden block on top of that kind of makes it a support area for the insulation in the center of this go ahead and put the insulation back on and then put the cover back on all right we're here at the second hive of a 10 frame uh, production hive take the lid and the insulation off this one doesn't have a uh, observation cover. I did put the wood over here on top of the inner cover to block that hole so it keeps the heat in. Definitely had a pile of bees up on top. I'm gonna have to smoke them down. They do have uh, Seems to be I've got at least three frames of honey off to the left hand side here where the uh, main chamber is Let me go ahead and bring you up a little closer You can see inside the hive what I'm seeing and the amount of bees in this hive I'm gonna go ahead and close them up until we get that done All right, here we are at the hive. I'm gonna go ahead and take the inner cover off It has some bees on it. Not too many uh, we do have a little bit of the pollen patty left here about maybe half got some of uh, white sugar brick a little bit of the yellow stuff like I said earlier that there's at least three frames of honey off to the left hand side here there's some more bricks here they're almost gone I'm gonna smoke them down and uh, so we can put more stuff on We can also maybe see how much honey in the frames they got. They're definitely taking the pollen patties down. Hopefully they're, they should be making brood at this time, getting ready for spring. So, uh, I see two, four, I see about five frames of uh, honey off to the left, over here off to the right where most of them are. A good portion of the honey is gone. Let me go ahead and grab some uh, pollen and some sugar. All right, everyone, I'm back. I've got a white sugar brick. I'm gonna put that in there. Here's a, I always peel the bottom off so the bees have direct access to the pollen. I'm gonna go ahead and put that right in there. Here's some more of the uh, pollen uh, sugar brick mix. I'm going to go ahead and grab some more of that. It's stayed together a little bit better this time. So, uh, they, uh, I might put that over here. Bring that around this way. And like that so I think that's good enough for now go ahead and uh, put the inner cover back on and try to find my block of wood for the hole let me see and there it is And it goes the insulation. All right, everyone, we're here at the third hive. I'm gonna go ahead and take the lid off and the insulation and another hive that just has an inner cover on it.
You do have some bees here, but uh, there's plenty of honey in here on both sides. What I'm going to do is, is just go ahead and it doesn't have a feeder shim. Put up a, a uh, pollen patty on it. Right over where the bees are at. I do have a rim on my uh, inner cover. Which will let the bees get up to the uh, pollen patty without any problem. It's sealed right back down on the hive. Put the inner cover back on. Or the insulation, I mean. And the uh, hive. So let's go ahead and move down to the next one. The next one will have a observation inner cover on. All right, we're here at another hive that has the uh, observation inner cover. We'll go ahead and take the lid and the insulation off. And this hive here is not as strong as the other one. I can see that uh, they still have a pollen patty. They still have sugar, good amounts of it. So I'm not going to disturb this hive at all. All I'm going to really do is just close it back up. Put the insulation board on top. And we'll go on down to the next. All right, we're here at a hive here. I've got my insulation or wind block, which is a piece of carpet on it. I got to um, undo the uh, ratchet strap, which holds that on and also holds the uh, hive together. All I do is just kind of pull it back off the back of the hive, kind of out of the way. And then I can take the lid off and the uh, insulation. We'll go ahead and put some gloves on. The bees have been kind of feisty. All right, let's go ahead and open up this hive. It's got... Uh, some of the pollen patty left and there doesn't have any of the sugar bricks left and it does have some sugar in the uh or sugar but honey in some of the frames but um let me go ahead and bring you up a little bit closer all right here we have the cluster and here's a little bit of pollen patty left uh not a whole lot but some Go ahead and uh, put that back down. I'm gonna go ahead and smoke the bees down and so we can put some sugar bricks on, put an additional pollen patty on. There's a little bit of sugar brick right there, and that's all there's left. I'm gonna go ahead and scoot the uh, pollen sugar brick on there. Put a uh, regular uh, sugar brick, and I'm gonna go ahead and add another pollen patty there and I think that'll be it for them we'll go ahead and close them up cover up the hole put the insulation back on All right, everyone, we're here at another hive. We're gonna go ahead and open this up. Got the insulation off. Pretty good uh, cluster up on top. 
they do have some uh, honey frames left and right there. Uh, they pretty much took all their uh, pollen patty and definitely all their sugar cake. Let me go ahead and bring you on up so you can see better. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, smoke the uh, cluster down off of that uh, pollen patty paper and see how much is left and where to best put the new stuff that I'm going to put in. Well, actually, looks like to me they pretty much devoured that pollen patty and there isn't any sugar left. It's mostly just paper. Yep, pretty much all just paper, just a couple little pieces left. Let's go ahead and put another one right back on there. There's some burr comb there, kind of keeps that sugar up off the top of them. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this crumbly pollen sugar up front there so they got something. And I think I might put a little bit more of the crumbly stuff in there. They look like they really ate this other stuff. And it's only been about a week and a half since I was able to get into these hives. So I think they're really, uh, even though they got honey, they really seem to uh, like the sugar a lot better. All right, let's go ahead and put that uh, second scoop of uh, the pollen sugar cake on. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here. And I'll just go ahead and close it up after that. And then there comes the lid. Well, everyone, I'm going to go ahead and continue on down the line and feed these bees so they don't uh, starve on me. I hope your bees are uh, in good health at this time and make sure that you check their feed. And also put some pollen patties on if you want a robust hive come springtime. That will definitely uh, boost them up. Uh, so until next time, please like, subscribe, click the notification bell, share my videos with your friends, and have fun with your bees.